my creatives and welcome to another video so this time i'm here to share an art journal process video with you but not in my art journal so this page has a little story behind it but first of all i want to tell you that i sketched out the bathtub off camera because um, i felt quite pressured <laughs> to make something pretty and uh, when i draw i usually <clears throat> are very much on top of my project so you probably couldn't even see me sketch it either way so that is something I have to learn but I will get there so for this art journal page um, this is something I made for a dear friend of mine as she is going through a very rough time and I have sent her a little bit of happy mail and uh, this was a part of her happy mail. So that is why it says in the thumbnail, mixed media mail for friend, because I made this for my friend. Um, so she is going through a rough time and I just wanted to support her a little bit now that we can't be together and sent her some mail. So that was quite cool. She loved it by the way. So that was really, really cool. Um, yeah, so she goes in bath to relax, that's, that is her self-care moment and she also really needs it. So that's why I chose to uh, make her a little bathtub and I, some months ago I found this quote from Flow Magazine about uh, taking a bath, <laughs> so that was perfect. And uh, yeah, I really wanted to make this for her. So I um, drew out the bathtub and now I... I outli outlined it with my Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen and now I'm using some Darwin Sketch Wash Pencils to add some shading. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, using these pencils or this pencil to do my shading so that was really really cool. Uh, also this is not a hard page to recreate because I don't use a lot of supplies. And uh, I think it is with the supplies you have easy to recreate because you can find images online or in magazines to recreate something like this. So that's also what I want to share with you today. Um, be creative and try new things. And for me it was to draw something. Because I'm an art student but you don't see me draw a lot on YouTube. <laughs> well, I do draw quite a bit in my daily life of course, but um, yeah. So now I'm taking some flowers and these are from the AC Digital's collection Bloom from Maggie Holmes. And I've printed all of the flowers several times. And that's the beauty of having a digital collection or a digital elements pack. So you can print it over and over and you never run out of flowers in my case or any other embellishments, which is really, really, really cool. And I'm so happy that they have their kits now or their collections now online because it's very hard for me to get these kinds of things here in the Netherlands because they sell out like crazy so yeah I'm very happy to have this collection now available to me and what I wanted to recreate was the scent of bath oil coming out of the bathtub and I know my friend really loves flowers and these types of flowers like this um, painted kind of flowers you know like the aesthetic from these flowers so i really wanted to use them but i'm messing around with the placement of everything um, because i had this image in my mind but it didn't work out as i had in my mind because then it was too crowded then it was too little flowers and i didn't like the collage and then you know those kind of things so i moved things around quite a bit and tried out lots and lots of things to find the composition that I liked or the collage that I liked. But these are very accessible for everyone. Uh, if you don't have a home printer, you can let them print at a copy shop, of course, but uh, I have a home printer, so that is great. And I can just print my heart out. <laughs> So now I'm going to take my Distress Oxides. You also don't need Oxides for this, but I like the look of them. And I'm going to use several lids to uh, create bubbles. Uh, so there are like stamps um, and everyone has lids like this or bigger ones or smaller ones. They're just easy, accessible things to use. So um, I recommend you go look around your house to 
find things you can use in your mixed media or to make marks or stamps or anything like that. Uh, I especially love this. And like I said, you don't need to use the oxides. I love the look of them, but you can also use acrylic paints. So the only thing that I really use is uh, my drawing, a pen, a pencil. You don't need to have the, the a Derwent wash pencil. I really like it. I have it, so I'm going to use it. But you can also just shade with a normal pencil and uh, some lids and a paint to add the bubbles. Of course, I have to add a doodly border because you know how, who I am. I need to do a doodly border. Uh, and that is what I did with my Fabric Castell Pit Artist Pen. And I chose to do that before I started my collage. So after this, I'm going to put everything back on my page to check how it would look. And um, it really helped to make some kind of a background. And I am going to fiddle around with these flowers and I will add them to my project. And I will glue them down and make sure it, that it looks like they are in from coming out from coming out of the bed. Top. So I will also cut some flowers down, uh, the ones at the bottom, I will follow the line from the bathtub itself to cut it down and then I will uh, continue my art process. After gluing them down, I made sure to cut off all the excess flowers and I will add my black line again so it will look like the flowers are on the inside of the bathtub. So now I'm taking these butterflies and of course I have to add butterflies because they represent growth and freedom for me. So uh, I had to uh, add those, a couple of them. Here, so here's the quote that I found in Flow magazine. Uh, I like to take a lot of photos or uh, quotes from magazines and add them to my art projects or my own little uh, journal. I have this notebook which I collage in every night, uh, just some simple collages uh, to make the pages a little bit pretty and I use magazines for that. So now I'm going to glue down this um, quote and I messed up, <laughs> I switched around two sentences, but I will fix that off camera. I've cut off or cut under the paper to get the glue off again and uh, switch them around. So no stress, no sweat on the forehead. I fixed it. <laughs> and now I'm taking a studio light marker and I am going to uh, shade around the flowers because I thought they were blending in too much and I wanted them, them to stand out a little bit more from each other. So I'm going to use this marker and I'm going to draw around uh, the die cuts. But um, I start with only doing the insides. I do this usually in faces. So I only started to do this on the insides and after I've seen how that looks, I will also decide to do uh, the outside of the flowers, like on the mixed media paper. 
but I wasn't sure if I wanted that or if this drawing it on the inside was enough so I took it step by step and that's what I recommend doing when you're doing going to shade take it step by step and just check in if you already are happy with the result or not uh, it also could be possible to start light and then make it darker and darker so I took this light color and that was the perfect color uh, but it was also possible that I would have liked a darker color which was not the case in this uh, example but um, yeah just start out light you can always add more but you can't take it back anymore <clears throat> so I also decided to do a little bit of shading around the butterflies to keep it cohesive and I will also add a little bit to the bathtub and because these markers are water soluble markers and they are meant for this kind of technique that I'm doing right now um, I used my water brush to blend it out a little bit because the line was a bit too harsh under the bathtub And as a final little thing, I'm going to add some gold splatters and that's the end of my page. So with this page, there is a little meal folder with a letter inside and some goodies. I will also share that video later on so you can see the complete meal. But I really wanted to share this art journal process um, apart from it. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would also like it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye.